Good day future LPTs. So in today's review video, we will be discussing about buoyant force and Archimedes principle. It is one of the fundamental topics in the fluid mechanics. Have you ever been curious how the submarine floats and sinks? So, it is manually controlled. So, a submarine has a counterbalance tank. So, it is used to control its position and depth from the ocean surface. So, dulubog yung submarine if they allow the water to access the counterbalance tank. So, if the water has already accessed it, then uh, the weight became heavier than the buoyant force so the weight is much stronger than the buoyant force which makes the submarine sinks are you curious how the hot air balloon floats or descends so our environment or the environment itself is densely packed with air so this dense air acts as a buoyant force to the hot air balloon. So the buoyant force causes this hot air balloon to rise and descends. If the hot air balloon is much heavier than the um um, densely packed air then it will drop down it will descend but if the weight of the hot air balloon is balanced with the uh, buoyant force then the hot air balloon will become will remain its height Archimedes principle. So it states that any body completely or partially submerged in a fluid at rest is acted upon by an upward or buoyant force. Force whose magnitude is equal to the weight of the fluid. So the weight of the displaced portion of the fluid is equivalent to the magnitude of the buoyant force displaced by the body. So, as you could see in the illustration, it has two phases. Yung una, yung hindi pa nakasubmerge yung um, object into the water. And sa pangalawa, nakasubmerge na yung object. Now, at the first stage, di ba, hindi pa nakasubmerge yung object, then the weight of, of the object is 5 kilograms. So, weight is affected by gravity and mass. Now, and then, wala pang displaced water na nakalagay dito sa um, scale. But then, when the object was submerged into the water, then the buoyant force is 2 kilograms. Kaya kung mapapansin nyo, dun sa timbangan, 3 kilograms na lang. Yung instead of 5 kilogram object. Kasi nga, 2 kilograms yung buoyant force. Kaya naging 3 kilograms na lang yung weight. And, the uh, water is displaced. Kaya kung mapapansin nyo, may 2 kilogram water in the measurement sa gilid. That is Archimedes principle. Meanwhile, yung buoyancy naman is an uptrust. So, it is an upward force exerted by a fluid that opposes the weight of a partially or fully immersed object. So, in a column of fluid, pressure increases with depth as a result of the weight of the overlying fluid. So, yung buoyant force, yan yung upward force na nakita natin dito. Sa illustration, yun yung 2 kilograms that lifts diba, the object from the fluid, making the weight of the object uh, lighter compared to before. 
So Archimedes principle and buoyancy is associated with density. So density is the relationship between mass and volume. It also associated with the compactness of the mass. Meaning, if the mass, if the particles are compact to each other, then it is much denser, no matter what the volume is. If they are, if the particles are loose and far from each other, then it is less denser. Now let's try to explore buoyancy and Archimedes principle using this simulation. Okay, we have two materials here and they are both same wood. Okay, uh, object A has a 2 kilogram mass, meanwhile object B has 5.10 kilogram mass. And the fluid we use is okay, water. So let's try to weigh it. So the weight of object A is 19.16 Newton. Meanwhile, the weight of object B is 49.95 Newton. And let's try to check the buoyancy. Lulubog kaya or magsisi, uh, pa float ang wood. Okay. So nag float ang wood. And as you could see from here, di ba? Based on the Archimedes principle, nagkaroon ng displacement of water because of the space of that the object. So, if you have questions about the conceptual information of buoyancy and Archimedes principle, you may post it in the comment section. Please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.